Yeah, hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial for marmoworld.com. My name is Matthias and first I have to say I'm really really happy about all the positive feedback that we get about auto lip sync. And that's one question I get asked from time to time and this is when I did a project with auto lip sync and after I'm finished I decide hmm, maybe I should replace the voice by some other voice. Uh, how do you do that? Can I do it without doing all the work again and starting from scratch? And the answer is of course yes, this is much easier than doing all the work again. Uh, and here in this quick tip I now want to sh show you how to do this. So what I have here open is the final result of the project of the tutorial about the talking tree. So this is currently looking as follows. If you do character animation in After Effects, you yeah. And now we want to replace this voice by the voice of the talking car from the uh, promo video. So I just drag this uh, WAV file in here and delete the old voice. And now, if we look at this, I mean, of course you could start keyframing all of this by hand, but I mean. Of course you could start keyframing all of this by hand, but... Yeah, you can see that the movement of the mouse of course does not match automatically the new voice, but what you have to do is actually quite simple. What we do is we create a new solid, layer new solid, and call this uh, temp, since we only need it, need it temporarily, and we make it comp size and the color doesn't matter at all. And on this temp layer I now apply auto lip sync. So I create a mouse rig with this layer selected and then I don't care about the details. So the position of the mouse corners I don't care. I just click on continue. Also I don't care about straighten the mouse and now in the third step the audio keyframes for the voice volume were created and this is the only thing I want from this. So I just click here to skip the rest of the wizard. And now on this temp layer I have a lot of effects and one of them is a voice volume and this is what actually depends on, on the actual uh, uh, wave file that you're or on the actual voice. So I just make sure I'm at the very first frame and you can see here by the way if I go through you have here now some kind of strange talking mouse but all that we are interested in of this mouse are these keyframes. So we go to the very first frame, select the property and go to edit copy or control C and then we go to our original mouse rig. So here's this mouse layer. Here we have the same effects and also this voice volume. I first click on the stopwatch to delete the old keyframes, click it again to enable keyframing and go to edit paste. And now we have the voice volume of the new voice which is basically 90% of the work we need to do here. So we can delete our temp layer again edit uh, clear. And now let's take a look how this is looking like. I mean, of course you could start keyframing all of this by hand, but... I mean, of course you could start keyframing all of this by hand, but... Okay, this already looks pretty nice. The only thing is that of course here these markers where the mouse gets more of an O shape don't match the new voice because I've set them manually according to the old voice. So I just right click on one of the markers and say delete all markers and now you go through uh, the clip once and set markers uh, where you need them. Okay, that's already it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and it makes your auto lip sync workflow even more efficient. Again, my name is Matthias for marmoworld.com and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.